Hello everyone! How are you today? I am your teacher, Jem Raymond, and today we are going to answer your assessment and additional activities of your lesson 1 of your module 6. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. Let's answer first the part A of your assessment of your module 6 lesson 1. Direction, complete each sentence by writing the probability of each event. Use impossible, most unlikely, as likely as unlikely, most likely or certain to describe each statement. Number 1. It is blank that New Year's Day is on the first day of January. What do you think? Yes, obviously, every 1st of January is New Year's Day. The answer for number 1 is certain. Number 2. Today is Monday and it is blank that tomorrow will be Wednesday. Yes, because tomorrow would be Tuesday. So this would be impossible. Number three, it is blank to happen that you will pick king of diamonds out of the four kings in the deck of cards. As we all know, we have four kings in our playing cards and we only have one king of diamond. We have one king of diamond card out of four kings of the playing card. So, one-fourth or that is equal to 0 0.25. And if we are to plot this figure in our number line, then this would be its location, right? So, the correct answer for number 3 would be Yes, most unlikely. Maliit lang yung chance na makukuha mo yung king of diamond. Number 4, in the bag, there are 1 strawberry candy and 3 chocolate candies. It is blank to happen that you will get one chocolate candy in the bag. So again, in the bag, we have one strawberry candy and three chocolate candies. So what would be the probability of picking a chocolate candy? If we are to solve it, how many chocolate candies do we have? Yes, we have three. And how many candies all in all inside the bag? Yes, we have four. So that's three-fourths. So, 3 fourth in decimal form is also equal to 0 0.75. And 0 0.75 is located in this part. So, what would be the answer for number 4? Yes, the answer would be most likely. Malaki ang chance na makukuha mo ang chocolate candy. Number 5, it is blank that the dog can fly high. Makakalipad ba ang aso? Of course, that would be impossible. So that's the answer for number five, impossible. Now let's proceed to part B of your assessment direction. Observe the contents of the box. Copy the table on your answer sheet. Write and describe the probability of choosing each object. Use impossible, most unlikely, as likely as unlikely, most likely or certain. Let's have number six, triangle. Now, obviously, inside the box, we have one triangle. Now, what would be the probability in getting or picking a triangle inside the box? Yes, if we are to solve it, we have one. And how many shapes inside the box? Yes, very good. We have 16 shapes inside the box. That one, 16, is also equal to 0. 063. If we are to plot this probability in our scale, then it would be near impossible, right? So what would be our answer for number 6? Yes, that's most unlikely. Number 7, we have cylinder. So inside our box, we have 3 cylinders. So we have 3 cylinders out of 16. If we are to solve it, 3 divided by 16 is equal to 0 0.19. 
still 0.19 is near impossible, right? So the correct answer for number 7 would be most unlikely. Number 8, we have heart. Inside our box, we have 8 hearts out of 16. 8 divided by 16 is equal to 0 0.50 or that's one half basically, right? Now, so there would be 50% chance of picking heart shape in our box there. So what would be our answer for number 8? Yes, that's as likely as unlikely. Number 9, we have circle. Circle is 2 inside the box. So 2 out of 16. So that would be equal to 0 0.13. So 0 0.13 would be near impossible, right? Since malapit siya sa impossible, then that would be most unlikely for number 9. Number 10, we have diamond or rhombus in shape. Do we have rhombus in our box there? Wala. Diba? Walang diamond, walang rhombus inside our box. So, there would be impossible chance of picking diamond or rhombus in the box. So, impossible ang tamang sagot for number 10. This time, let's proceed to your additional activities part of your module. Directions, read the problem carefully and answer the questions below. Write your answer on a separate paper. Now, here's the situation. In her suitcase, Jenny has a green skirt, an orange skirt, a yellow blouse, a white blouse, a blue shoes, and tan shoes. Jenny chooses an outfit to wear randomly by spinning the spinners in the succession. So we have here spinner class. So you notice for skirt, we have green and orange there. G stands for green. O stands for orange. So we have two types of blouse also. We have Y stands for yellow. W there stands for white. We have two types of shoes also. We have blue shoes and we have the tan shoes. Again, so si Jenny ay may green na skirt. May orange din siya na colored na skirt. Ang blouse naman niya, may yellow at saka may white. And sa shoes naman, may blue at saka may tan colored shoes. Question number one. How many different outfits are possible? To answer this question, let me present this to you. So again, we have green skirt, orange skirt, yellow blouse, white blouse, blue shoes, and tan colored shoes. So we are going to identify the number of different outfits that could uh, be possibly worn by Jenny. So first outfit, pwedeng green, pwedeng yellow, at pwedeng blue ang first outfit niya, di ba? Second outfit naman, pwedeng green, pwedeng yellow, at pwedeng tan shoes, right? Next. Let's have the next outfit. Pwede rin namang green. Next, white naman yung blouse niya at saka blue ang kanyang shoes. And also, next outfit, pwede ding green na skirt, white na blouse, but tan colored ang shoes. Next outfit, pwede orange naman ang kanyang skirt, then yellow ang kanyang blouse, and then blue colored ang kanyang shoes. And pwede rin namang orange ang kanyang skirt. Yellow ang kanyang blouse. And tan colored ang kanyang shoes. Next outfit, pwede rin naman siyang magsuot ng orange na skirt. White na blouse. And blue colored na shoes. And sunod. Pwede siyang magsuot ng orange na skirt and then white na blouse and then tan colored na sapatos. Now, how many outfits do we have here? So, these are the possible outfits that, that Jenny can wear. Now, how many different outfits are possible again? 
Yes, the answer would be 8 outfits all in all. Number 2, what is the probability of wearing a green skirt? Now, ilan ba ang kanyang skirt class? Dalawa, di ba? Ano anong mga kulay ng skirt niya? Green and orange. So, anong possibility or probability na magsusuot siya ng green na skirt? Yes, that's 1 over 2 or 1 half. Dalawa lang naman ang kanyang pagpipilian, di ba? So, there would be 50% chance na mapipili niya yung green. So, the correct answer here is as likely as unlikely. Number 3, what is the probability of pink blouse? Na ano-ano ba yung mga kulay ng blouse ni Jenny? Yes, yellow at saka white lang. Meron bang pink blouse si Jenny? Wala. So, the correct answer for number 3 is impossible. Walang chance na magsusuot siya ng pink blouse kasi wala naman ito sa pagpipilian niya, di ba? Number 4, what is the probability of wearing blue shoes? So, ilang shoes meron si Jenny? Yes, dalawa lang, yung blue at saka yung tan. So, ano yung probability na mapipili ang blue? Yes, as likely as unlikely, 50% lang ang chance na mapipili niya yung blue. Dalawa lang naman kasi ang kanyang pagpipilian at isa lang ang pipiliin niya. So, that's one half, di ba? Or 50%. Number five, what is the probability of wearing violet skirt, red blouse, and white shoes? Now, mayroon bang violet skirt si Jenny? Wala. Meron ba siyang red blouse? Wala din. Meron ba siyang white shoes? Wala din. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Yes, that would be impossible. Hindi siya magsusuot ng outfit na yan kasi wala yan sa kanyang pagpipilian. So, that's very impossible. That's all about our lesson 1 of your Mathematics 6, Module 6. If you want to watch the video lesson for your lesson 2, still on Module 6, you can click the link above. Thank you so much for watching. Keep safe, everyone!